So did you both go to, did you attend the uh, presidential inauguration? We sure did. Yes, and we did. It was fantastic. As, as representatives of California Republican Party? California, yes, yes. We were part of the California delegation and we were invited to the inauguration and it was it was it was fantastic it's the the first inauguration that we've both been to uh, so the, the trump presidency seems to be in jeopardy as a result of the media what was it like there well see that's exactly what you said as a result of the media he is very being very successful he's on a historic trip now in the middle east and all the press the mainstream press can talk about is comey it's it's absolutely ridiculous. They're out to get him. The inauguration was a whole different thing. It was. It was yeah. yeah. Everyone was happy to be there. Everyone were, everyone was in good spirits, and we all had a lot of fun. And everyone was coming together for it. And there were a ton of people there. I don't care what the you know mainstream media says. Were there? Yeah. A ton of people there at all the different events. It was a great time. Do you feel that the media is giving a fair representation of this presidency? A, a poor representation? A fair think? representation? Oh, no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Absolutely. He's done a lot of great things. You hear nothing about it. You heard nothing about his trip uh, to uh, the Middle East. And all they're saying about, oh, when he comes back, about the you know so-called impeachment and the Comey scandal and all that, it's ridiculous. No, they're not giving him a fair shake. The Democrats and the left and the press have declared war on Donald Trump. And it's, they're not even trying to hide it. They, it's just one negative story after another against the president. They want him to be a failure. He's not. He's a success. But they just continually put out negative stories about the president, and it is, it is infuriating. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll just be able to come up with a, with a, a strategy to, to combat that. It's, uh -huh. it's all we can do right uh -huh. now. And when he said to, to, to Jerry Brown, if you insist on putting sanctuary cities status, don't expect on federal assistance. Mm -hmm. Is that reasonable? It is reasonable. And obviously it's going to be fought in court, but there have to be consequences. If the federal government is giving money and the states and the cities are doing everything they can to, to basically go against federal law, then they don't deserve the money that, that, that's coming from the federal government.